Hello everyone. Um, today I'm actually gonna do a semi tutorial. I thought before I finish this project, I would be a you know show y'all how I did it. Um, this is actually going to be a throw pillow, and if y'all can see the design, I really love this pattern. Um, I love pink, and I also love yellow. And this is yellow uh, cherry blossom design. It has the black bark and yellow cherry blossoms. Okay, so how I started off with this was I cut out, I had this fabric just laying around, like I said, and what I did was cut this into um, 20 inches, 20 inches and a quarter inch. So do 20 and a quarter, and I cut that even on all four sides. Once I had the 20 quarter inch, 20 and a quarter inch, uh, what I did was I took the seams, the ends, and I folded it in one inch. And then once I got it to one inch, you might want to put your um, ruler up top so it'll hold it in place. And then if it's old fabric, you might want to iron it out before you um, start. That's what I had to do. Um, and you'll just take your iron. I'm not sure. I'll start right here since I don't know if I'm in the camera shot. Uh, you just kind of, I wouldn't, I don't recommend you do it on your rotary mat. It will deform, um, but kind of slightly just kind of do the crease. And then once you get like the slight crease, then you can kind of actually put something under it and do the seam. So one inch. And then you're going to do that on all four sides. And once you get to all four sides, you want to make sure that you the corners you're going to fold in like this where it comes to a point and once you get that you want to iron it down so you can get that seam like that and then once you finish with that process you'll have it folded on all four sides so what you'll do is you'll take it to the sewing machine and sew, sew all the seams down so it doesn't come undone. I don't recommend you do a quarter inch from the inch. I want to say maybe almost an inch in, but three-fourths of an inch. Um, so actually when you sew it together, it'll have like this little cute little ridge look. Okay, so once you get all of that done, uh, you've sewed all your four edges on both sides of your pillow. I had this little lace curtain laying around and I have no use for it so I decided to uh, cut it and use it as the polyfill pillowcase inside. And what I did was I just cut it on all four sides and I want to say I this pillow ended up being uh, 18 inches so what I did was cut it to 17 inches so it's one inch smaller on all four sides and I sewed it on all four sides and I left about a five inch gap where I filled it with the polyfill. Once you fill it up with the polyfill, you want to kind of pin it in place and then put it back under your sewing machine and continue to sew up the hole. Once you get all that done, you want to kind of pin your two pieces together of your pillowcase like I did. You can see kind of the pins that I have. And once you get it secure on all three sides, or not all three sides, maybe halfway on your third side, stick the pillow in. And once you get the pillow in, you will just ensure that all the sides are even, like so. Um, I don't recommend that you do it this way. I recommend that you do it out so as you're sewing, you can kind of pull it out and it'll be a lot faster where you don't have to stop, pull out, stop, pull out the pin, stop, pull out the pin. It can be time consuming. And once you've been doing it for a while, it kind of comes easy. And um, if you are, if you keep up with my videos, the video that I just uploaded this morning actually shows a pillowcase that I made earlier, which was this one. 
And like if you did watch it, I made this pillowcase a little too small. So um, I'll have to find a, a smaller pillow for it. But it does have a seam in the back and I was going to put buttons on it or a zipper to make sure it zippered up or it buttoned. I probably will have to put a zipper because I forgot to kind of leave like a a half an inch or a inch over so whenever you do put the um, how do you say it buttons on it it actually you don't have to do this it'll line up completely perfect. So zipper is probably gonna have to go on this one and so this was a pillowcase that you can actually put on top of your throws that you already have at the house and the one that I just got finished making is actually a pillow all by itself. Once I'm, once I'm finished with it, it'll have no openings or anything. And you can put more polyfill in it. I just, that's all I have. I have to run to the store now. It'll probably look a little bit cuter if it was a little bit bigger. And I think it does, it does not weigh hardly anything. So I believe that this is the gift that I am going to do the giveaway on after 150 subscribers. So everybody, just to let you know that this pillow right here that I make, I probably will fill it with a little bit more polyfill before I sew it or not. It all depends on if I get anxious to sew it or not. So yes, this will be the 150 subscriber giveaway just for the appreciation for watching my videos and all the support. Alrighty, I hope that y'all like it. If you feel like I can do something better with it, just please leave comments. I'm open to ideas. And do not forget a tutorial on how to make a quilt on Friday. I'm going to upload that, so go get your jelly rolls. Uh, you're probably going to need, for that tutorial, you are going to need a rotary cutter, a uh, rotary mat, a ruler, pins, and a sewing machine and thread. And you, <laughs> of course. Alrighty, I hope everybody enjoyed the video. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And pass the word. I do do a lot of giveaways, and this will be the next giveaway that I do. A, pillow, a throw pillow giveaway. And it's very light, y'all. The polyfill is not that heavy. Thank you. Everybody have a great day. Bye-bye.